très heureuse de vous retrouver sur Africa 24 dans cette nouvelle édition de décryptage. Nous recevons ce jour le docteur Monique Nsonzabaganwa qui est la vice-présidente de la commission de l'Union africaine. Le docteur Monique Nsonzabaganwa occupe cette fonction depuis février 2021 et est en l'occurrence la première femme à occuper ce poste dans l'histoire de l'institution panafricaine. Avec la vice-présidente de la commission de l'Union africaine, nous parlerons de quelques réalisations importantes de l'Union africaine à ce jour, de certaines réformes en cours et bien d'autres. Docteur, depuis début 2021, vous avez été élue vice-présidente de la Commission de l'Union africaine. Vous êtes la première femme à occuper ce poste depuis la création de cette institution. Quelles sont vos missions Thank you for having me. Um, my joining of the African Union Commission uh, was um, on a plan which I pledged to the member states mainly focusing on a few things, mainly four points. So as you may recall, this position is all about administration and finance for the organization. I'm joining at a time where we are implementing our reforms. And my commitment above all is to be the, uh, in the leading um, seat for these reforms, uh, implementation and operationalization. So the four points um, uh, um, I came with are, first of all, to look into matters of governance, accountability, governing according to rules and um, uh, tackling impunity. So accountability in governance is number one. Number two is in the area of human capital where we are committed to um, implementing reforms in the recruitment to attract the talent, retain it, and then manage performance. Number three, in the area of finance, I committed to driving the financial reform impl implementation, um, ensure that uh, we improve our financial management, have um, uh, clean audit reports, and ensure a value for money for our union. Number four, which is last but not least, is the quality of the intergovernmental process, which is through meetings, summits, and um, committing to making sure that the processes are smooth, that uh, we make our leaders, we prepare uh, and facilitate their dialogue and engagement so that they take L'Union africaine a parfois été critiquée pour ne pas avoir assez de moyens pour financer ses propres programmes avec un faible taux d'exécution. En 2019, par exemple, le budget adopté était de 700 millions de dollars en baisse de 12% par rapport à 2018. Comment gérez-vous cette situation La réduction de 2% n'est en fait, pas une underperformance. C'est une mesure d'austérité. That is taken uh, because of uh, the uh, COVID-19. The capacity of the union, of the member states to support the functions of the, this organization is something that has been extensively discussed with um, in view, member states having the commitment actually to ensure 100% financing of the operations of our union to ensure at least 75% of our programs. So we are on course uh, on, on those um, uh, targets, which are set to be evaluated by the year 2025. Of course, there has been challenges here and there because of the COVID that has affected member states' uh, fiscal space. Uh, we are um, devising means and ways uh, to actually make sure that we, we stay on course on these commitments and uh, so far uh, so good. We have in place um, uh, a body, the committee of ministers uh, we call the F15, which is working hand in hand with the commission to advise the union on how we can advance in these fields. So um, it's, 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 a, it's a commitment for financial sustainability. It's a big pillar 
on the institutional reform, the financial reform, what we, 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 we call the golden rules, we have actually started implementing them. We are, we are like, for instance, um, no longer, I mean, we are implementing a balanced budget. We are remaining within our, our commitments uh, in terms of uh, uh, approved budget. À l'issue du 34e sommet de l'Union africaine, l'instance a envisagé de recentrer ses missions prioritaires sur quatre piliers que sont les affaires politiques, la paix et la sécurité, l'intégration économique. Restons sur la ZLECAF, la zone de libre-échange continentale. Quels sont les nouveaux défis de l'Union africaine pour faciliter le commerce en Afrique évalué à moins de 20% One of the flagships for the agenda 2063 of um, the African Union is precisely the, the uh, continental free trade area. We pride ourselves in the diligence that our leaders and the people of Africa have put in achieving this in a very uh, record uh, time. Um, as we speak, we are um, working uh, tirelessly. The headquarters in Accra, where the, this organization is headquartered, and the commission, and actually the RECs, the regional economic uh, blocks, and the member states on, on, on the, the, the starting of the trading, which actually started with January this year. You know, we have all um, been affected by this COVID. You know, mobility of people and of goods uh, has, has been somewhat, and also um, uh, the capacity to produce of different economies, um, really making sure that we improve uh, on uh, around um, free movement of people and goods have in place a legal um, uh, frameworks to um, uh, facilitate trade and dispute settlement, uh, make sure that we actually focus on manufacturing because you know this is a community, a market uh, where we are going to be trading among ourselves with the less uh, constraints and also ensuring we keep on track L'Union africaine avait décidé de prélever 0,2% des importations admissibles dans les pays africains afin de contraindre les États à respecter leurs obligations. Euh, Jusqu'ici, la démarche ne porte pas de fruits. Euh, quelle stratégie allez-vous mettre en place euh, afin de minimiser votre dépendance euh, aux bailleurs de fonds This is 0.2. It's not um, about actually taking away anything from member states. It's just a modality of saying this mechanism would allow you to actually seamlessly from your own system of how you manage your fiscal revenues. It's only purposed to improve the cash flow so that countries can be able to pay on time. It has been embraced by a number of countries above 20 countries have embraced it. We are uh, exploring ways of how we can even go through the community um, uh, approach like uh, in the West Africa, work with ECOWAS. So it's, uh, it's just a mechanism of ensuring uh, the cash flow and the facilities and modality of payment. Countries that uh, uh, are expressing one or the other constraints in implementing the same, are still paying using uh, other mechanisms, including budgeting for their contributions in their annual budgets. So this is not like um, uh, anything else that we are imposing on countries.